here and his fourth in a row on a Friday night. Are you kidding? Congratulations, John Falcon. Come on out of here, Jason. Here he is again, folks. <laughs> Jason, what is it with you on Friday night here at the Fairmount? Four years in a row, your seventh win overall. That looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, we had a good start up there up front. Uh, got trapped on the start. I think we got up uh, a little low there in front of the tires. And, uh, no, we just, uh, I gotta thank John Curl and uh, you know, the car and uh, Betty and I and uh, it ain't much, but uh, he can do a good job going for You haven't raced a lot this year. This car hasn't been on the track for like two years. What was your thoughts going into the night about this combination? Um, we're always ready to go, so it doesn't really matter what it is. It's, uh, it's just taking us two years to get it out of the box and uh, you know, we had to loosen her up a little bit uh, on our way over here, take some of the bumps and uh, kind of break the left off a little bit. But uh, no, we're in good. Uh, you know, we got to thank uh, John and Jesse and uh, that's all we're through today. So, uh, you know, it's good to see uh, instruction. He's going to be here tomorrow night, so it's all good. CNS Express, huh? Moving up to its day. CNS Express. Uh, Jason, a lot of traffic. Um, a lot different here on the big track. The higher speeds compared to the bull rings. You navigated it pretty well though, especially late in the race. I don't know if you knew, these guys got pretty close there as you come up the back as you get. You made a great move though through one and two to get by a couple. Did you know these guys were right there? I think it is not, you know, uh, I wasn't really switching it too hard. I wasn't, uh, that last week right there, I didn't really try to catch up to those guys too quick. I tried to, you know, hopefully they need some space and throw back to the wide and then, uh, Hey, it just worked out for us tonight. Uh, you know, we kind of had up and down here, and uh, still good to be back in the circle. Well, as I said, four years in a row on the Friday night, you've won this race. Seven now, one more than Roger. You know he's going to try and tie it up tomorrow again, just like he did last year. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. You know, he's, he's a tough guy. You know, he's a little Sunday race with him in the barn, and uh, him and Dan and all those guys. Uh, got to get good cards this weekend. Uh, hopefully, everybody had a good time watching. And, uh, Congratulations, and uh, always fun to watch a race for cinema. Thank you. Jason Solo, race fans, outstanding job. John Farrell, and congratulations to you, but it just means a lot, right? Yeah. For the third time in his career, he finished his second year at Yakimov, coming close there at the end, Jamie Barnes. And Jamie, again, uh, we talked about the little bull rings that we raced at. This big, fast track, but if you had light yet when you have fun on the, the little track, that race looked like a lot of fun too. High speeds and then our last track. Yeah, it was fun. Um, that open track was tight. Didn't really back to any other track. It was getting fun. So uh, I didn't want to see that last year. Um, yeah, we were first moving in the last time. So I don't want to have fun last year. But I think we were going to have fun with the water. It was a really tired and we were going to have fun. If you think you have a shot there, that I got a lot of yellow. I knew it was not to be tough. It was just like I was doing that and I was doing that. So I was just like I was doing that. And I was back to the lot better than I was going to be. So I was just putting out that there. How did you get around to that with James? He got an exciting career in the last two years before. Nice job, Jamie. We'll see you tomorrow. Jamie Barnes finishing in the number two spot. We talked to him earlier tonight. We talked to him a lot on the front straightaway here in the year. Roger Crock of Race Fans coming home in third, solidifying his top spot atop the season standings. And Roger, you made a couple of moves late to crack the top three. And of course, there was a few more laps left in that one, I'm thinking. We got a really bad start, got trapped in front of the car, we were a lot faster than uh, And then once we got clear of them, we rode the leaders in like about two laps, I was surprised. We were really good, and just, I actually need that gap last year on the count for us, because we had a lot of momentum coming, and they were balled up in traffic. And, you know, when you're traffic, they just slow down the pace, but you know, we had a really good car, you know, it's not track position is really important, you know, you guys have been in the state, so that's why we're third. Heck of a job like everyone tonight, though, only two yellow flags, no reds the whole night. You consider a lot of guys racing here for the first time, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, definitely, you know, they put a lot of hard work into getting this racetrack ready to go. It's the only race of the year, so, you know, all of a yeah, the track is really good tonight. It's pretty darn smooth, we haven't seen that in the past, early, so it was good. Looking forward to tomorrow night, I think it's pretty much the day tomorrow's clock is up there, so we're just going to go after 100% and try to get it tomorrow. I was just going to say, Roger, um, 91 point lead going into the ninth. The difference between first and 20th is 60 points. Point lead will 
be around 100 probably now. So uh, basically all you gotta do is uh, take the green flag in that feature to uh, become the first two-time winner in the ASCS Northwest Region history. But I know you're not thinking about that right now. If you wanna win this thing tomorrow, if you wanna tie Jason Soul to get with seven wins, just like you did last year when you tied him on the Saturday night with six, don't you? Yeah, exactly. I was hoping we could've, you know, got up there with him tonight, but no, it's hard. We've got good cards all starting around there. We start in the third row with, with fast cars, it's hard to get up there sometimes. And you know, the track over the racers and went towards the end. And yeah, like you said, it'd be nice to come back tomorrow. And how perfect it would be for me and Jason to start the front row. That's what I'd like to see. All right, Roger. As we said, pretty much uh, wrapping up your second championship. And uh, we'll see you here tomorrow. Always great to watch you race. Roger Crockett, race fans, third. And again, pretty much the test of Jake and Dave's line tomorrow night to become the first repeat champion in the series. Well, what a night. We just had 26 guys from five states and Alberta, Canada. Just two double flags. We're going to have to show you that.